I'm at the Clean Fuels Michigan Ride and Drive at the Lansing Capitol. So we have our consumer's energy booth, and there's also a number of vehicles from other manufacturers. And of course, this was the day that the parking authority decided to parade out a gas-powered pressure washer. No! So apologies for the background noise. Ford brought out a Mustang Mach-E, and of course an F-150 Lightning. Tesla brought a Model S Long Range and a Model Y. There were several Rivian R1Ts. Stellantis brought a Jeep Cherokee plug-in hybrid as well as a Jeep Wrangler 4XE Rubicon Edition. But the vehicle that intrigued me the most was the Polaris Ranger XP Kinetic. I had a chance to talk to Kevin Dwyer from Polaris. How's it going, Kevin? All right. You mind being on camera? No, I don't know. Fine. So tell us about this. So this is the model year 2023 Polaris Ranger XP Kinetic. It's our first full-size uh, lithium-ion powered battery electric utility side-by-side. -side. Mm -hmm. It was developed in close co cooperation with our friends at Zero Motorcycles. So they lent us their powertrain technology and we adapted that for this vehicle platform. And we're really excited to you know, now see those first vehicles rolling off the line and being delivered to customers. Cool. And I saw 29.8 kilowatt hours. So yeah. you said that's two Zero bricks, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, so uh, the ultimate trim comes with uh, two essentially 15 kilowatt hour battery packs mm -hmm. uh, derived from zero motorcycles. Okay, and it's uh, level two charging. I think there are a couple different options. Is it like single charger, double charger? In other words, like three and six kilowatts, or did I get that right? Or Yeah, pretty close. So uh, depending on the trim level, uh, the Ultimate, which is the higher spec trim, comes standard with uh, six kilowatt of onboard charging. You can upgrade that with an accessory, uh, additional three kilowatts of charging. But yeah, it's all level two. So uh, max of nine. Max of nine. Correct. Okay. Which matches well to like a 40 amp charger. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so the um, the EVSE, the charge cord that the vehicle comes with is very similar to what you'll find from other OEMs. So it has a swappable uh, level one, level two okay. uh, grid plug. But then you, you can also upgrade with an accessory uh, Polaris co-branded wall box Pulsar Plus okay. uh, to make sure that you're fully... But, but really any EVSE will work, right? Correct, so, yeah. So, so okay. anything, any EVSE with an output over 9 kilowatts okay. will work really well. But the mobile cord, does that also have a NEMA 1450 on it? So you could take it to a campground and exactly. plug it into a 50 amp RV plug? Yes. Yep. Cool. Yeah. All right. And this is all-wheel drive, right? Yeah, so, this is all-wheel drive. Um, I see a two-inch receiver on there. Yeah. So how much towing capacity? Uh, I believe 2,500 pounds. Okay. Nice. Where's the plug? Uh, this side. This okay. Okay. Standard J1772. Yep. Uh, and is this does this bed tip tilting? So it does. You, so you yeah. can dump stuff. Yeah, when it's not full of stuff. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't want to do it now. <laughs> Okay, and you got fabric doors. Do they also make um, hard doors or partial doors? For yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. There's a number of different accessory options for a cab and door and windshield and roof. And uh, is it you, is it all compatible it. with the current uh, Ranger line, or is it totally separate? No, correct. So the platform is virtually identical to the Ice Ranger. Uh, we say about 90% of the existing accessories will transfer over to the Kinetic which is fantastic. So if you want to do plowing or spreading or spraying or uh, anything like that, you, you can you know, draw from the existing range of accessories. Cool. And you, uh, you sent me an email, they're actually rolling off the assembly line now, right? Yeah, so. that's right. So a couple of weeks ago, we went into production down in Huntsville and uh, we're starting to see that the first customers are receiving their vehicle and the, those will continue to uh, be made you know, on an ongoing basis, just filling the uh, original um, pre-orders for customers and then at some point we'll open up another order window. Or can they be ordered from any Polaris dealer or do they have to be like specially qualified to also work on them or how so, does that work? Yeah it's my understanding that any Polaris dealer could sell them but then it's uh, on the dealer to go through the, the specialized EV training and, um, and what have you to become certified to okay. actually receive that vehicle. All right well, great thanks for your time. Yeah pleasure. Thanks. If you enjoyed this video, why not give it a like? 
and to be notified of future content, please subscribe.